Hey, welcome to AP Comparative Government and Politics. This is probably going to be the first of many of these, um, kind of the maiden voyage of our screencast experience that I'll, I'll use a lot in here to deliver instruction. So um, I'm going to go through. I would recommend taking notes on some points, and I will sort of talk about that as well in class and what to highlight. Um, I'm always going to start out with the standards. I would, I would just take a second and pause and read through them, um, and I'm going to just move on to the good stuff, OK? All right, so this one will be really short. Uh, this is the, the introductory standard that we have for this class, and it's talking a lot about what political scientists do and, and how they use data, how they um, construct knowledge and basically look at data, and how they kind of sum up the, the jargon as it relates to data analysis, which is one of the, the skills that we use for this class. Okay, um, So the first distinction we're going to make is between qualitative and quantitative data. Um, so qualitative data refers to um, essentially traits and characteristics about a country that's not rooted in numbers or data. Um, so it's sort of thematic in its nature. Whereas quantitative data, hence, hence the name quantity, or kind of the close to the, the word quantity, um, can be counted, measured, or expressed by using numbers. So um, as you can see, qualitative data, descriptive, conceptual, quantitative data is more based on numbers and, and data. So what we do with those those two are oftentimes we make correlations between the data and we talk about kind of causations between the data. So correlations are when we have a relationship between two sets of data. And then causation is when we're apply, implying that one thing is causing the other. So causations we are probably not going to talk too much about because it's very hard to prove that something as it rel relates to data is specifically responsible for causing something else to happen. Um, but correlations we'll talk a lot about. So we'll get some practice in kind of doing that with what we're doing with the activity that you're doing. Um, so positive correlations are basically relationships between two variables or two pieces of data in which both variables move in the same direction. That is, they either both go up or they both go down at the same time. So for instance, if we're looking at the gross domestic product of a country, that would probably go up at the same time something like the literacy rate within a country would go up. Both of those are indicators of development, one of them um, economic development, the other social development. And we would expect those to rise within a country kind of at the same time. Another kind of the other type of correlation is called a negative correlation, meaning one piece of data goes up and the other piece of data goes down. They're moving in opposite directions. So again, we would expect perhaps the, the GDP within a country to go up, and maybe the fertility rate within a country would go down. So those would be an example of a negative correlation where one goes up and the other goes down. And no correlation would be that the two data points are unrelated. So that might be the GDP of a country and the amount of ostriches that exist within the country. There's no correlation between those two sets of data. And the last slide is pretty pretty um, close to what we talked about with the first one. Um, empirical data versus normative statements. So when we actually analyze and think about the data that we look at, um, empirical data is going to refer to facts, numbers, and statistics that we see. Whereas normative issues or normative statements are basically value judgments that we would make about a country. So an example of an empirical statement would be Again, gross domestic product, um, a factual, objective, statistic, or piece of data that you cannot argue with. And then a normative statement would be is more like whether or not uh, something bodes well for the country or, or making a specific kind of judgment about a country. So mine is uh, the United Kingdom's high gross domestic product bodes well for the future of the country, which I don't know, I guess would be kind of hard to argue with. But, um, but you'd be like, no, it doesn't it's going to go in the tank or something. I don't know. Um, but that would be an example of a normative statement. All right. That was pretty short.